I'm Jamie Costello with your WMAR 2 News Update. There's a new way for healthcare workers to protect themselves while caring for COVID-19 patients. It's called the Care Cove Prototype, and here's how the device works. A medical professional places the cove over the patient to keep viral particles away. It also allows the provider to still care for the patient. Now it's disposable and lightweight, and a critical care doctor came up with this idea when he had to insert a tube down a patient's throat back in March. When COVID hit in March and people were coming to me saying, hey, use this plastic garbage bag, clear plastic garbage bag to innovate your patients. I just thought it was crazy and I refused to do that. Well, that doctor and his team are now hoping to get the device out to other providers by the end of the month with help from Harbor Designs. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month and we are hoping that you can help us make a difference. For the fourth year, WMAR2 News has teamed up with the House of Ruth, Maryland for its Fill the House campaign. We'll be collecting virtual donations all month long, and then on October the 21st, we'll be out there collecting diapers and wipes and formula, comforters, pillows, blankets, and new underwear for women and children. And for more information on how to donate, visit WMAR2news.com slash fill the house. A man fell into the harbor Thursday morning and survived because of some passengers or some strangers that were walking by and they dumped, jumped in to get him. It's a story you'll only see here on WMAR 2 News. The man said he was taking pictures when he slipped into the water. Some joggers then grabbed a nearby life ring, threw it into the man several times until the man finally caught it. There wasn't any ladder, so we had to drag him to a part on the harbor where we could get him up safely. <laughs> Well, first responders then arrived a few minutes later and the man appeared to be in good spirits while in the ambo. More sunshine as we head into the final day of the work week. Temperatures will be a little chilly for the morning drive, but we're going to rebound into the low 70s during the afternoon. Note it will feel a little bit better than it felt on Thursday as the winds will not be quite as strong. Daytime highs hit the lower 70s for most of us. I think we'll get to the upper 60s in Essex and the seven day forecast shows a warming, but we're also going to be tracking more clouds for your Saturday, watching for rain chances as we head towards Sunday that are going to linger through next Tuesday. All right, click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're out there on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent right to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.